Hi, I'm Bill from Beyond Fitness Online. Today, I wanna to share with you a little tip that may help you overcome any kind of pain or other physical limitations that you may be experiencing that nobody can seem to explain. I've worked with a lot of people with all kinds of different chronic issues. Some have had chronic low back pain, some have had chronic knee or ankle pain, neck pain, other issues like different kinds of illnesses or even things like vertigo and helped them overcome it when the doctor can't seem to figure out what's happening. And here's why. I'm gonna try and keep this explanation as simplified as possible. I'm really gonna oversimplify it, but I want you just to get the idea. Imagine now in your brain, you have all these millions of cells, okay? Each finger here is a cell. Let's say you get hit in the ankle and sprain your ankle. You have a cell that now communicates with the next cell, which communicates with the next cell, and it starts this whole chain of cells. And when they fire, you get this sensation of, oh, my ankle hurts. Now, the more often that sensation or that chain of cells fires, the more myelination you get around that. Now, what that myelination is, is basically think of the wiring that go, the plastic part that goes around a wire, right? Like on your cable. So when that gets more and more myelinated and that gets thicker and thicker, that signal sends faster and faster and faster. And it becomes more permanent or autonomic, right? So very automatic at this point. Now that tissue can heal and your ankle is all better. And that myelination, that little cell strip or pathway is now still there. Then time goes on and something else happens to you completely unrelated. Maybe you have an allergic reaction to a food or something really stressful happens in your life. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, my, my ankle hurts again. It hasn't hurt in a while. Why is it hurting again? These kinds of things can trigger those old myelinated cell strings. What you want to do is really start to take into account what's actually happening. So here's how I want you to think of this. Imagine a bucket. Now on this bucket right here, you'll see that there is a little spigot at the top. Now there's a lot of things that can fill this bucket. We're going to call this the pain bucket. Okay. Things like nutrition, uh, exercise, uh, whether it's good for you, exercise or, or lack of exercise, uh, different kinds of movement patterns. It can be stress, uh, balance issues, visual issues, uh, stress from relationships. It can be a lack of sleep. All of these things go into this bucket as they occur. Now, as this bucket fills up, you may not feel anything like that old ankle injury, but as it fills up to the spigot, eventually it gets to a point where your body just says, I need to let some of this out. I need you to stop doing what you're doing and it will spit out an output. And that output is usually some kind of pain. And it's usually an old pain because that's already myelinated within your brain. So that old pathway starts to fire again because it's your brain's way of saying, stop doing what you're doing. So what you wanna do is pay attention to the things that might be adding to your bucket. These could be anything from nutrition to poor movement patterns or exercise that's just not right for you. This could be any kind of stress that's adding to the body. All these different things, lack of sleep. So pay attention to those things, correct one or two things at a time, and see if that doesn't help your issues. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new updates every Friday. And until next time, live healthy.